Cardinality is the number of associations between entities or the numeric relationship between rows of one table to the rows of another table. Relationship maximum is the biggest number of instances of one entity that can relate to a row of another entity. Each of the related entities has a relationship maxima where the number one means one and the letter M means many. Relationship minimum is the smallest number of instances that an entity can relate to a single row of another entity. Each of the related entities has a relationship minima, which are denoted as either one or zero in parentheses. There are times when the minimum number can be bigger than one, such as two. For example, when there's two ways to authenticate when signing into your bank account online. In the example shown on the screen, Every song belongs to an artist, but not all artists have a song. Attribute maximum means that the entities have an entity has attribute relationship with their attributes. That means that each attribute should be singular, plural, and unique. Compared to attribute minimum, which means that each attribute instance can either have no attributes or a required attribute to find. Some ER diagrams can show lots of detail, such as having the cardinality on each of the attributes. And here are the different attribute maximums you can have. There's a one-to-one, -one, which is unique and singular. One-to-many, which is unique and plural. Many-to-one, which is not unique but singular. And many-to-many, -many, which is not unique and plural. And then there's two attribute minimums you can have. Zero in parentheses means optional, and one in parentheses means that it's required. And going back to our diagram, we could see that one artist performs many songs, meaning that there's one required artist because of the one in parentheses as the attribute minimum, and the zero in parentheses that's next to the song table, that is optional, so an artist can perform no songs at all. They could just show up and not sing anything. And yeah, that's pretty much it for database cardinality. Thank you.